So the third kind of vector multiplication is called a cross product. So let's say you have a vector A and you have a vector B and the angle between the two vectors is phi then A cross B is written in this fashion and this equals magnitude of vector A into magnitude of vector B into sine of the smaller angle between the two vectors. Now earlier also we saw when we were doing the dot product that the angle between vector A and B could also be 360 minus phi. But in this case we cannot take 360 minus phi because sine of phi is not same as sine of 360 minus phi. So uh, when taking the angle between the two vectors, we'll take the smaller of the two. So let me write it over here also that this is smaller angle. And when you do a cross product of two vectors, the resulting is a vector. So what you see here is the magnitude of that vector and the resulting vector would be perpendicular to both vectors a and b so it could be this which is perpendicular both to a and b so you see it's perpendicular to a and it is also perpendicular to b but you could also have a vector in the reverse direction which is also perpendicular to vector a and b so how do we decide the direction of this vector? Let, let's try to understand that. So let me again post these vectors over here. You have vector A here and you have vector B here. This is vector A and this is vector B. And if you're asked to find the cross product of A and B, A cross B, then what you do is you take a corkscrew and you put it in such a way that the head of the corkscrew is parallel to vector A. So here is the head of the corkscrew and this is the screw which goes through the vertex of vector A and B and you should imagine the screw being turned in the direction from vector A to vector B. That is in this fashion. It sweeps from A to B and you what you would find is that this is equivalent to turning the cork screw in this direction which is anti-clockwise direction. So when you turn it this way you will almost imagine that the cork screw is actually going up it's moving up and that will be the direction of the resulting vector now what if you ask to find the cross product b with a not a with b but b with a then again we'll draw the same diagram over here this is vector a and here is vector b but this time what we'll do is we will align the head of the corkscrew with the direction of vector B. So here is the alignment and this is your vector B. Let me label it over here. So you have the corkscrew, the head of it aligned with the direction of vector B. You see this alignment. It, it's parallel to vector B. And now this time, since B is the first vector, in, in the term B cross A, we will turn the corkscrew, the head of the corkscrew in a way so that it moves from vector B towards vector A. And you would see this is equivalent to turning the head of the corkscrew in a clockwise direction, in a clockwise direction. And when you do that, you would realize that the corkscrew is actually going down. And that will be the direction of the resulting vector. So you would notice that a cross B is not equal to B cross A. That is, it does not follow commutative property the way the dot product had. So A dot B is equal to B dot A. 
it follows commutative law but the cross product does not so let me repeat how you find the direction of the uh, vector when you do a cross product so if you are asked to find the cross product b with a then you take a corkscrew and you align the head of the corkscrew with the direction of the first vector in this case the first vector is this and then you turn the head of the corkscrew in the direction of the second vector here the second vector is this and then you need to imagine the direction the corkscrew would turn and that will be the direction of the resulting vector so let's let's move on and and figure out if a and b are written in the coordinate uh, notation then what will be the dot product so let's say vector a is equal to and vector b is equal to then a cross b would equal a y b z minus b y a z to i plus a z b x minus b z a x j plus a x b y minus b x a y k 